such a privilege for me to be here with you. 36 years ago, when I was a cadet candidate saying goodbye to my family up at the Hollider Center, I never imagined what the future would hold for me. That I'd be standing before you as an old grad, the mom of a grad, and the spouse of the 61st superintendent. <laughs> Now, of course, in reality, that day, there was no time for dreaming. I was just trying to memorize my four responses and get my salute straight so I could stop getting yelled at by the cadet in the red sash. <laughs> Though as if my R day wasn't enough fun the first time, you can already surmise God sent me back to experience R day a few more times. And so it is that I've had the remarkable fortune to view R day from these uniquely different vantage points. As a cadet, a parent, and as the spouse of a senior academy leader. Without question, the one that holds the most meaning for me is our son's R day. And even though it was seven years ago, I remember it like it was yesterday. From our 60 second goodbye, to finding our son in the parade, with every gift of a sighting and all the worry mixed in between, I alternated smiles and tears throughout the day. As a mom, I felt the distinct heartache of sending off my firstborn, and yet somehow at the same time, my heart was bursting with pride. It was such an emotional roller coaster ride. At the end of the day, when the mess hall doors closed and the parade stands cleared, there was a quietness settling over the plane. And as the worry crept in, my husband must have read my mind because he put my arm around me and he told me, not to worry, <laughs> there you go, <laughs> don't worry, <laughs> don't worry, what he said to me then probably applied to MacArthur's mom and you and me both, <laughs> but he said he's safe, we know where he's sleeping, we know what time he's going to bed, <laughs> heck, he'll have three meals a day, <laughs> but really, then he said with a grin and a knowing look in his eyes, he added, there's going to be more than enough people looking after him. And if you're an old grad, you know exactly what I mean there. So with a smile in my heart, at the end of another long R day, one of our daughters snapped a picture. Please indulge me here. I needed to slip this in to redeem myself from that R day beast mugshot that he had up there on the screen. <laughs> Being a parent of a West Point cadet is an experience like no other, and if I can save you even a bit of time from my experience, I'd like to highlight a few important points. First, I hope you'll recognize you are not alone. Many of us around you have been in your seats. In fact, you may be surprised at the number of West Point parents among the staff, faculty, and senior leaders and their families as you are now part of the community of West Point parents, I'd invite you to join your local parents club if you haven't already. They are tremendous resources and sources of support. You'll find friends who not only encourage you, but your cadet. And before you know it, you'll be sharing your own R Day experiences and stories with next year's new cadet families. Second, try not to worry. I know it's hard, but trust the process. Experience people who truly care for your sons and daughters and their well-being will be present at every step of the way this summer and in the months ahead. From their squad leaders to their tactical officers, their professors, coaches, sponsors, and chaplains, to the senior leaders and spouses who are here before you, Please believe me when I say that everyone wants to see these young men and women graduate. And so if your son or daughter wants to be here and gives it their all, they will do just fine. I guarantee you, they will do just fine. They will be challenged in ways that they never imagined and pushed beyond what they believe are their capabilities. And when they tell you they're miserable, they probably are, but maybe just in the moment, because you know what, they'll have fun too, even when they tell you they're not. Next, I quickly learned 
that this was our son's journey. To be honest, this mama cried on and off from our day until our son's first call home. But that day when we got that much hoped for call from an unknown number, he said, Mom, I hate to tell you this, but it's actually kind of easy. <laughs> and I thought, what? To which he replied, think about it. You prepared me for Beast 1986, and it's 2015. <laughs> and you know what? I totally stopped crying after that. As parents, we are simply along for the ride. We are blessed to be along for that ride. So watch, listen hard, and above all, encourage and support. Take the time to hear and appreciate their perspective. I can also tell you from personal experience, it's a whole lot more fun going through this 47 month journey as a parent than it is as a cadet. <laughs> and believe me, when I say it, the days go a whole lot faster too. Lastly, I just wanna mention the pride. I didn't really know the depth of that emotion until I saw my child in uniform the first time. My heart surely skipped.